When you're connecting your digital kit, there's a couple of different kinds of connections you have to really think about. Um, there are the connections that go from the triggers, the various triggers and things you're hitting, to the module or brain. And those connections allow the brain to hear which one you hit, where you hit it, how hard you hit it, all of that information. The brain then interprets that, and the module, which is also the brain, um, the module will then send that out, play back those samples, and you've got to have that plugged into your headphones with an audio cable or speakers or a recording device. Now, the other thing, if you're using this kit to play some virtual instruments on your computer, then you're using it just like a MIDI keyboard. So you have a keyboard that you play some notes and you get organ or piano out of it. Well, this works the same way. You play these notes, it sends the MIDI information. So it says, okay, you hit drum snare and you hit it at a velocity of 62. And then it will send that information with a MIDI cable or over USB, using MIDI over USB, or even wirelessly over Bluetooth, to that computer. And the computer will then find the sample of the snare drum you asked and for it to play and play it back. So all of these connections are important. So first of all, every trigger, everything you hit, has to be hooked up to the brain or module. All right, so every single thing from the kick drum to the hi-hat, and to the toms and cymbals. Now, some of these have multiple cables, and that's because some of the triggers have more zones that can be carried over a single cable. So, for example, the hi-hat has multiple cables. There's a cable for the hi-hat itself, the cymbal itself, and then there's a cable for detecting how much my foot is allowing the hi-hat to go up and down. Now, not all hi-hats work that way. Some of them might have the cable built directly into a pedal. So instead of using a hi-hat stand, you have just a pad here, and then you have a pedal on the floor, and then the second cable is just detecting how much my foot is going up and down off the pedal. Now, some single pads even have more than one cable. Like my ride does, for example, it has a ride cable and a ride edge, and it's labeled RD and RDE. And that's because the ride is a little more expressive than some of the cymbals. I've got a bell that I want to be able to access. I've got the cymbal part, and then I've got an edge that I can crash. So if you listen, that's three different zones. That all have to be discreetly sent to the brain. So it needs two cables in order to send all that information. So most drums are able to send, you know, two things over one cable. So with many of these cymbals, like I've got a cymbal sound, I've got an edge sound. I've got that with all of them, but you'll notice there's no bell on this one. It's the same on the bell as it is on the main part of the cymbal. Not so for the ride. Um, for the drums, the triggers, I've got a drum sound in the middle, and I'm sending that little click percussive rim clicky sound on the end. So again, you know, with one cable, it can usually send two sounds, but anything that's got to send more information, that's going to need more than one cable.